Happy Halloween! Halloween. Ooh, <laughs> spookiness. Hey, it's Josh and Jessica from Drawing Conclusions. Hello! Thank you to Tania for letting us take over our channel again. Uh, since it's October and Halloween is coming up, of course we wanted to talk about some of our favorite family-friendly Halloween movies. So Josh, right. what are some of your family favorite Halloween movies? Um, The Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown yeah. was always a classic. We watched that one as kids. came on every year on the old regular channels. Right. Uh, Ghostbusters, always a favorite of mine. That's maybe for the older kids, but it's still funny. Yeah. Even after... I don't know how many years ago that came 30 out. 30-something 30 years. 30-something years ago. <laughs> Still funny. How about you? Um, well, some of the other Disney ones that I liked, um, so we're going to be talking mostly about a Disney uh, classic today in a little bit, but um, some of the um, other Disney ones besides the one that we're going to be talking about, in, I really enjoyed Watcher in the Woods when I was growing up. Right. Um, it definitely freaked me out, but it was something that we watched for some reason almost Every time it was like we had a rain Halloween. day at school, yeah. we couldn't go out to recess. We would either watch Watcher in the Woods or to watch um, uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Those are the two movies I saw over and over and over again in school. Huh. So anyway, but I love Watcher in the Woods. Um, I like Second Thing Wicked This Way Comes. It's a lot scarier than Watcher in the Woods. It's truly scary. And in fact, I don't think any of our kids are ready to handle it yet, except for our oldest. Yeah. And um, and then, of course, Hocus Pocus. Yeah. I mean, just like that, the witches are so funny. And... It's become more of a modern classic. Yeah, right. But, of course, today we're talking about our favorite family Halloween movie. Yes. That we watched together, which is... The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Yes, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow from 1949. Yep. Josh, what do you love about this movie? First and foremost, what I love about this movie is Bing Crosby. Yeah. He's so great in this show. The singing, the narration, and just the way he tells the story of The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, uh, the main character, Ichabod Crane. Right. It's it's so good. Yeah. And whereas in most families, they probably, the holiday they probably associate Bing Crosby with is Christmas because right. of White Christmas. We associate Bing Crosby with Halloween. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> really great. How about you? Well, so... It's still on Bing Crosby. I just yeah. love how um, our little guy, our youngest son, the when he was younger, how he used to sing the ba ba boo boo ba ba boo stuff that yeah. Bing Crosby would do in the show. That always cracked me up. <laughs> that was good. I mean, that's one of my favorite memories of all time of any of my kids. So, um, I think just the look of this movie is so beautiful. Um, but I especially love. The character designs and particularly the contrasting character designs of Ichabod Crane and Brom Bones. Right. Ichabod Crane looks like Scarecrow with big feet. Right. Big pointy nose. And then there's Brom Bones. Uh, Brom Bones. <laughs> big, broad-shouldered, strapping. Right. Granite chin. You know, looks like a hero. Right. All that stuff. Yeah. And he's kind of a jerk. Yeah. <laughs> Not kind of. He's a jerk. <laughs> but then Ichabod Crane's not really... I mean, he's, you know, he's got some character flaws in him as well. Oh, so for sure. It's kind of... It's interesting. Uh, Ichabod Crane's an interesting character. He's definitely pretty quirky. Yes. So besides, you know, just the design, the look of him, I love the facial expressions and... I love the way he's always getting away from Brom Bones when Brom Bones is trying to Yeah, he just can't seem to get, get him. him. And the yeah. whole dynamic between the two of them. And then, of course, Katrina just being the... The little manipulative beauty queen that she is, just playing them against each other. Yeah, the it's kind of a rich crap. man's daughter. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> that darn Katrina Van Tassel. <laughs> That's right. Absolutely. Uh, what else did you like about this? I like the animation. Yeah, it's I, beautiful. It is, and this is taking place upstate New York in the fall, Halloween time, and so they capture a lot of these changing leaf colors. You know, the right. reds, oranges yellows i mean all that stuff it just they bring it out so nicely in the animation and the artistry it looks great yeah it's just from this classic era of disney animation you know yep. it's just got that look to it that if you like those old style disney movies which we do oh, yes we do i mean it's just like right in there in that era that mm -hmm. um i just thought the animation was like some of the best that disney ever did was yeah. in this during this time period yeah. and one of the other things i really love about it is just that it's this combination of these two American icons, these two American classics, right? Yeah. You've got Washington Irving, who was one of the first great American writers. 
and then Walt Disney, you know, the Walt Disney Company bringing it to life. Yes. And for me, it's just like such a total Americana thing yes. to have these two, you know, um, to combined. And the Wash, they, the Disney just did a great job of, um, tur- you know, adapting this story into something that was family friendly, that still kept the spirit of that time period and of kind of this, you know, old folk legend ghost tale you know that washington irving created back um in the day and um and that sense of history that's in the story you know yeah i mean they they did a great job just recreating this whole thing and bringing it to life right and doing this combination of having of having humor in there along with the thrills and the suspense yeah and i think it's really cool that like even modern adaptations of this story, you know, with live actors and live action, still are not better than this show, in my opinion. Yeah, right. I just, I just think this is this is it for me. This is Sleepy Hollow. Right. This is the best adaptation of The Legend of Sleepy yeah. Hollow that exists. Everything else can just go away. <laughs> this one is my favorite. It's the one I repeatedly watch. I have seen the other ones, but this one's my favorite. Well, and it retains that short story feel right. to it because it, right. you know it was a Washington Irving wrote it as a short story instead of trying to turn it into this full length feature. It's a short story. It's a short film. Yeah, it is what I mean. It's just like it's, it was intended to be. Yeah, I mean, right. and that's another great thing. Your kids, you can throw on this show for them. It's like a half an hour long or so. Right. Not a feature length, and so it gets right to the point, and it's fun. Uh, it's got some some spooks in there, but. It's also funny. Right. There's a lot of humor. And the narration by Bing Crosby, again, is great. And the story he tells leading up to the uh, nighttime chase of uh, Ichabod Crane by the Headless Horseman is just, it's fantastic setup. Right, right. So, Josh, I love this picture that you did for this video. Thank you. It's truly spectacular. It looks like it's ripped right from... The show. Why <laughs> tell us a little bit about this? Well, since this is one of my favorite Disney uh, cartoons, classics, um, I don't know. I just tried to get as much stuff as, as I could from the, the the Sleepy Hollow legend. You know, the Horseman, Ichabod and his horse, the bridge, the cemetery. I mean, just the colors. I I really tried to do this story justice by incorporating all these design elements in there and. I had a great time drawing it. Right. It was a lot of fun. And focusing on that climax of the story where he's right. being chased by the Headless Horseman. Right. I mean, as great as all that other stuff is, this is what I always remember is the chase at the end of the show. Right. Right. Well, and the it, the other great thing about this is it kind of like leaves you hanging. What exactly happened to Ichabod right. Crane? You'll yeah. never know. Nope. You know, it's so which That's, is how the story, you know, ends okay. too. Right. It's just, it's so cool. It's like, how, yeah. to, how to, what happens to him? <laughs> Right. That, it's, after that night. It's maybe the first story that I remember being like that from my childhood, yeah. right? You know, like my first experience with the, you don't know the answer, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, anyway. this was pastel pencil on pastel paper. Yeah, it's beautiful. I love it. Thank you. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this. We hope that you enjoyed it. Thanks again to Tania for having us on our channel. We will be back next month in November. And uh, check us out on our channel at Drawing Conclusions. And uh, see you next month.